So we have uh, four citrus trees, but um, they all look sad like this one and they all look unhealthy. Um, two of them are near death, um, but we're going to show you today how we're going to attempt in um, reviving these four plants. Stay tuned. Good day, goeiedag, salam alaikum, namaste, awe masakaners. My name is Winston and welcome to my channel Bush is Vatboor. A channel where we discuss everything regarding small scale farming and also those projects in and around your house to help you do everything yourself, save on some money and also enjoy the fruit of your labor. Today we're talking about lemon trees now or citrus trees. Now we have four citrus trees and you know the thing about citrus trees are that they should be evergreen. They are always green like this one right here. This is actually one of the healthier ones that actually, that, that carried some fruit. Um, we had to take it off because they were shrinking and that's because you'll see some of the some of some of the leaves turning yellow. So there's some kind of deficiency around there. So we need to fix that and sort that out. Um, but it's supposed to stay um, stay green through the year. But because when we moved in here, we had to deal with a few things inside the house. And then obviously right after that, we were hit with uh, cold fronts. And when eventually when I uh, paid my attention outside and things outside of the house, I realized that um, um, some of the trees were dying and they, they, they were just um, affected by the winter. So we're going to try and save all of them, right? And we're going to start with the, the trees that's supposed to be green. So this is tree number one. Um, we got four trees, this is tree number one. I want to show you some damage. Um, there were some ants um, that came and infested the tree. And then, you know, it left this white spots. I sprayed it with Malisol. This is a, this is a week after I have, um, uh, I started to start watering it again. So you'll see all that white spots. And um, just like a, this thing is like, the, the ants left some damage and this thing is just very sick you know so what we're gonna do right here is um i went to the i went to the nursery down the road and he said that um, there is a product to use for this white spots but what i can use is sunlight liquid water and that's what i'm what gonna do and we're gonna spray it on the bask so what we're gonna do is step number one is um trim the tree get rid of the dead branches get rid of the the branches that grows downwards so this is how the tree looks now we got rid of all the dead branches right here. Um, this is what we got rid of, all these dead branches. And then we clean down here. Uh, we cleaned around here. All I'm gonna do is now, step two, I'm gonna add some manure, some compost to the soil and mix it up. So step two is done. I cleaned up, I mix some manure in between, I put some on top. Um, the next step is I'm gonna spray that solution, the, the salt solution, ugh, not the salt solution, the soap solution. And what I'd have here is I still have my, my bottle, that the small bottle right here. This is where I have my dishwashing liquid. It's like, uh, I think this is a 300 ml uh, or 100 ml. And I put one table, tablespoon of sunlight liquid in there and I mix it up well. And this is my bottle with uh, malisol. I have malisol mixed in here, never mind the label on it. Malisol um, um, mixed in it. So I'm going to spray the bask with a so so soap solution and I'm going to spray the whole tree with um, the malisol, right? My office are gone so I'm going to have to maneuver this myself. So let me go down this way and I will take my bottle with a soap solution. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it straight onto the bask as the guy um, told me to do. Straight on the bask. Thank you. 
so I gave it a good cover. Now, the thing is, I don't know what the soap does, but I did some research and apparently it it, it, it um, controls insects as well. So if this is the what the nursery guy says, uh, a trick that he used, then, then I'll do it. Uh, then I'll do it again. This is Sasha again wanting some attention. Um, so let's see. This is this is purely a a a um, experiment. Let's see if it works, right? All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my melasol. I'm gonna spray the rest of the tree upwards. So if there's any insects um, that is um, infecting the tree, then we can get rid of that. So all now that's left to do is to give it some water. You can see I already put the water there. Um, the flow is a bit low right now because the sun is busy setting. Now the water comes straight from the borehole and the borehole works on um, solar panels. So if, uh, it, it, it has no backup batteries, there's no, I think that is an inverter. But as soon as the sun goes down, the, the pump works a little bit slower. So the flow of the water um, is a bit um, lower as well. So we're gonna leave this and let it soak in some water and then I'm gonna water this plant every uh, twice twice a week. So I twice a week and I'll give you all a feedback with, with regards to this tree. So this is tree number two and tree number two is probably one of the one of the healthiest ones you can see that it is green. Um, it has lost some leaves. There are some leaves that's turning yellow. Um, there's also a nest in there, so I don't want to disturb it too much. I can't really get into it because of the thorns. I want to see if there's anything in there. Um, you can see my tail. Um, she wants attention, so she will follow me all everywhere I go. So let's go. Step number one is to clean around here first. Okay, so I cleaned out around the, the tree. I got rid of all those things. Um, there's some I still need to clean further than that way. But uh, the most important for today was to clean around here. I dug up the, the soil and all I'm going to do right now is add some compost, mix the soil up, add compost on top and um, then I'm going to spray it and water it down. Right. Um, also what I want to see is that there are irrigation lines everywhere. So I was very careful when I dug up the soil and I saw that the irrigation line comes from, from the back. It goes around the tree uh, that way around the tree and then goes back to the back again so somehow it is connected somewhere but this just helps me uh, tomorrow when i want to connect the irrigation lines to a water source and at least i know where the where the water is coming from and where and how in how the lines are connected to each other all right so i cleaned up here i added some soil i mean some compost i mixed it in there I threw some compost over and as I was uh, mixing it in I saw that there were some ends already going up. It is not as sick as the other, the first tree that we, that we treated. Um, the, tree, the ends are just coming up and down, there's no white moss. Um, Shasha, sorry man. Um, so Shasha is just, uh, yeah, she, she wants attention, she loves attention, she will demand attention. So um, all I'm going to do right now, we're going to spray it with pesticide and the next best thing to do is uh, give it some water. Alright, so let's go. So, so I'm gonna spray it near the base where I see the end so I can treat them and then get rid of them as well. Right, so I'm done with this one. Um, I need to get a, I need to get a bigger knapsack. Things are going into my face. I need to go wash up because um, the instructions on Melisol. If you haven't seen that video where I treated the ends, uh, watch this video right here. So I'm gonna just wash my face and get back. 
okay so i'm gonna call it a day for today um after the second after the second three i'm gonna call it a day because the august wind is picking up again with the dust and the rugby is gonna start soon so let me come tomorrow and i'll do the other trees but um it's gonna be in this one same video right so tomorrow we'll water this one um because the water already water pressure is low on the first tree we're gonna do this um the water this side this tree is right next to the pool um if i turn the video like this it's right next to the pool right next to the um lapa all right so um, it's actually nice ni next right next to the water source as well, but with the win winter the The footing that was on there it cracked so I need to get an, a new one So at least this whole area here has its own water source. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow I'm gonna water this plant um, and then I'm gonna go back to the next one. So See you tomorrow So we are back today. It's day two um, Yesterday I enjoyed the, the, the rugby. It's an op partly overcast. It's still it's still August. Um, it's still in the winter, so I don't know what it wants to do. Um, does it want to rain or are we getting a cold front? I'm not sure. But um, today we said we're gonna water the plant. I already brought the hose pipe closer, but um, because it's overcast, the borehole won't work. Um, it worked early on when the sun was out fully, uh, but it stopped working because the the, the borehole works. The borehole pump works directly off um, solar so i'm gonna leave this here um, the sun is coming out sun is um, like um, the or the clouds are clearing up the sun is coming up again so it will start giving water here i'm gonna go back to um, tree number three number three so sun is out and we have water um, so it's gonna water this down nice um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to tree number three right now and see what we can do right there right so right here we have tree number three it's probably the healthiest of all of them um, and we have shasha of course so we don't have much work to do right here we're just gonna um, get rid of the top dead part that dead branch and then we're gonna give it some soil I mean some compost and then we're gonna um, give it some water so what we've done was we cut out of the dead branch, we gave it some compost right there All of, and I sprayed it with our melisol just around um, and all I'm gonna do now is give it some water so I'm gonna let my son do some, give it some water Time to reach So what we have right here is um, a loo, um, you can see it's wilting, I brought it from my previous house and it was planted in this basin right here, old basin. So all I done was I transplanted it right here and it had mint, so these dry sticks right here, that is mint. And I, I transplanted all of that and as you can see right here, it made some babies, mint babies, so it's obviously gonna grow and Shasha walking all over it of course you can see because she wants the attention all the attention um, but what I want to show you is that it's making some babies right here and it's actually growing very healthy all we need to now do is take care of this aloo and make it grow again now this is tree number four and I saved the worst for last in this in this instance this thing is close to death and what bother, bothers me is that it's like next to nothing. Even Sasha is, Sasha is very um, unnecessary right now. So what worries me is that there is there are very little green branches right here. It's only those few at the bottom that's actually green but most of them are dying. Most of them are dead. So we're going to try and revive this. We're going to take... So point number one, let me take care of or get rid of all the dead branches 
and maybe even um, take care of all the dead leaves as well let, let them fall out and clean out this tree so we can start afresh so we cleaned out the tree we took out all the dead branches right there those are all the dead branches there um, all we're gonna do now is just clean around here and then add some compost and then yeah we'll get back right now Okay, so I've done the compost. What I'm gonna do right now is take my melisol and just spray this tree because there are some ants and maybe there's any other bugs, we'll take care of that, right? So we are done with this tree. All we're now going to do is we are going to give it some water, give it a good quick fetch the, the horse pipe. Gonna give it some water, and then we are done with uh, with the lemon tree. So what I'm going to do is afterwards, every uh, twice a week, I'm going to give it water, and then you know. Today is the, yesterday was the 21st of August, it's actually the same day we did the potatoes. So today is the, we did two, we, two, we did two lemon trees yesterday. Today we're doing two lemon trees because, yeah, yesterday I had to watch the rugby. And um, so at least we know what date we, uh, we, we, we fixed these plants or we treated the plants. All we're going to do is just give it some water and allow nature to take its course. And what's going to happen is we'll give you an update. Um, um, when as time goes by so so my son is giving the the last uh, three water um, if you found any value out of what we are doing please consider subscribing and clicking that um, this is Shasha moving the stand so if you found any value out of everything we are sharing consider subscribing and clicking that uh, notification bell so we can be notified whenever we do a new upload if you like the content that we share in this video, please hit that uh, like button. If you don't hit the unlike button, we, it's fine, we understand. Not everybody will be, always be happy. But leave us a comment, tell us exactly why you're not happy, so we can improve on the quantity or the quality of the content that we share with you. Until next time, keep well, stay safe, stay blessed. Away.